Hey my friends, welcome back to Arms Only Gaming, Mike here. Now, you know me, I love a powerful weapon and I love taking on bosses with uh, different builds and stuff. But if you guys want to find this weapon, the Whirlywig saw very fast in the game, very early on in the game, before you go to any of the uh, other main bosses, uh, this is the guy that I'm going to show you guys. As you can see, that weapon is just destructing in everything it touches. So, yeah, after the Vicar Amelia fight, go to the Hunter's Dream. On the doll's left hand side, you'll see the Eye of the Blood Drunk Hunter emblem. You need this to access the DLC part if you have the DLC in Bloodborne in order to get this weapon because it is a DLC weapon. Um, pick up that and head back to the Cathedral Ward. Uh, so that the amygdala can transport you to the dlc part which is called the hunter's nightmare and what you do is you run outside go to where the second uh, set of clothing standard clothing is and let the amygdala pick you up and transport you to the hunter's nightmare uh, so many people have told me about you know they, they, so many people comment on my videos and stuff but i really want to give a shout out to one of my very good friends vince uh, yosifa uh, I hope I'm saying that right, Vince. I, I, I really hope I'm saying your surname correctly. Is it Yusifa? Yusefa? Or what? But yeah, Vince, thanks for supporting my channel, bro. I really appreciate uh, your comments. I really appreciate you watching my videos and always interacting with everything that I do. Really appreciate, man. But getting back to the video here, yeah, I'm already in the Hunter's Nightmare, so I'm just going to run through the area um, as fast as I can. To get uh, to show you guys where you need to go to go and pick up this weapon. Just gonna run past the fireball here. I mean, the Hunter's Nightmare, the DLC is very, it's such a great part of Bloodborne as the rest of the game is, but the DLC in uh, Bloodborne is, is, it's actually better for me than it is in, say, Dark Souls 3. I've done that a couple of times as well, but nah, Bloodborne is just something on another level. Just gonna get past the cannons and stuff here. And uh, again, if you're playing this era, you, you can always go for the pickups, you can go for the kills, you can get some pretty nice blood echoes going for this area. But like I said, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna run through and open up the shortcuts and get to where I need to be, where the uh, the saw is located. Gonna get past the fat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah got past them here that's the dangers of just running through an area you can start playing very carelessly my friends but uh, I think I'm gonna be okay from here hello Simon I'm just gonna open up this door should something go wrong this is always a good idea to open up the shortcut because you're back at the the lantern so you can use that as a shortcut if you should die but Upward and onward, here we go. Twisted Hunter's Nightmare. So much blood in this place. Can you imagine what this place smells like? I always say this when I'm playing this. I think uh, th th this place, in Afrikaans we, we call it, I think this place pongs. Here the black pong. This place pongs. Here the black pong. Pong, 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 pong. Got a shot there from the hunter. Oh, and he got me right up Main Street with his beast cutter. Also, a very nice weapon. But for now, we're focusing on the Willy Gig Saw. Because I'm just gonna run past these big guys with the cannons and the, the big blades. They call the great executioners, I think. Yes, they, they take a wallop. Okay, once we get to the hunter's church. Or the nightmare church we're gonna run down that little staircase there and we're gonna go get that little weapon I've already gathered uh, enough twin blood shards blood shards blood uh, chunks and my blood rock in order for the video just to show you guys that you can bring it up to a decent level anything about above 550 on your right hand attack or whatever or 600 is good so there's your soul and then we're gonna head back to the hunter's dream now we're gonna start having some fun we're gonna fortify this and we're gonna add some gems to it I mean I'm only gonna use what I have 
Okay, so we need three blood shards for the first one. Yes. Yeah, fortify this man, let's go. Plus two. This is a great weapon, guys. This I use this in the majority of my boss fights when I play Bloodborne, uh, either by myself or when I'm assisting people, but I love this weapon. Okay, more chunks, and I already have a Blood Rock. Added that, so let's add some... I'm just going to do a strength build on this, so we, I'm, I'm just going to go for strength and add as many gems as I can of, you know, making it a very, very powerful weapon. Okay. Most of my gems anyway, uh, I've stored them, so <laughs> I'm only using what I have here, tempering gems for this one. But yeah, already that thing is over... It's over 500, well, 130, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's try and get this up a little bit more. In this case, blue is a good color. If you see blue, click on it. Okay. Now, if you do follow these steps, my friends, you're going to have a very kick-ass weapon and the rest of your game should be quite easy. Your boss fights and stuff. But um, I hope this video helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this uh, video and I hope you guys subscribe, like and share with your friends. I will see you guys in the next one. Like I always say, thank you for the support. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Eh? Cheers, my friends.